the glory to come. And therefore, we don't lose heart. We're not faint-hearted like a hopeless and an old dear me. Because though outwardly we're wasting away, and yet inwardly, you know what? We're being renewed every day. Because the light in this momentarily, all these troubles, it's taken us into an eternal glory that even outweighs all of these things, all these situations, all of these heartaches, all of these circumstances. God is saying he's taken us through and all of this that we're going through. He said, don't. Fix your eyes on what you see. But I want you to fix your eyes on even the things that you don't see. I want you to see with the eyes of God. Since what is seen, it's only for a little while. But that which is unseen, the things that we do see, is eternal. It's eternal. Today we're here. And tomorrow we can be all taken out of this place. And I'm just going to read a little bit more. Because I'm telling you there is much to unpack out of this word of God. And I just pray that all these things out of the word that God has dissected every portion and parts of your body and that you will not be dismayed that the suffering that you're going through the little damsel <laughs> that you feel that has gotten away God has so much more for you. Because even outside of this world, it's a bigger place called heaven. For we know that if this earthly tent, this place that we live in, if it's destroyed, that we have a building from God. And it's an eternal house, which is heaven. And heaven is not built by human hands. Meanwhile, we're groaning. Meanwhile, we're just clothed. But it, the word says, clothe yourself with our heavenly dwelling. Because when we're clothed, we will not be naked. And I love that. We will not be naked. For while we are in this tent, we groan. And we are burdened. Because we do not wish to be unclothed, but to be clothed. Instead of our heavenly dwelling. So that this mortal may be swallowed up by this life. Now the one who has fashioned this life for us is for this very purpose is God. That he's given us this spirit. There's a deposit, there's a guarantee of what is to come. And I'm telling you church, we as a body need to be clothed in our right minds. And the way that we're clothed in our right minds is when we clothe ourselves with the word of God. Nothing missing, nothing broken, all healed, sound, and delivered. God knows your very needs here today. He knows your suffering. He knows your pain. 
He knows the church that is being persecuted. But he said, that's because you know the death of my son Jesus. But I want you to know, because you know of that death, you are more alive than what you are dead. Because God renews us day in and day out. This earthly body, it will return back to the dust one day. But our spirit, our spirit is always eternal. Let us pray here today. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for all the opportunities that you allow us. You let us be a light. Be a light in the lost in the dying world. May many be brought to the feet of Jesus. Make a way where there seems to be no way. Let the wayward son, let the prodigal son, let those who have fallen on the wayside be cupped up, be lifted up. Draw a hope. Draw a prayer. Draw a friend, draw a family to those that need healing balm where there are those who are being up in the hospitals, up in the prisons, those that are lost sheep, those that don't have a home, those that are there on the streets, those that are there on the highways and the byways, make a way always, Lord, where there, where there seems to be no way, you always make a way. And I pray that our heart will be like your heart, that it will be for that wayward son, that wayward daughter, that it will be compassion, as you moved in compassion among your people and those who followed hard after you, may you give us a heart to serve you and to serve you wholeheartedly. Father God, I just pray that you will bless every hearer and may every word, Spanish, English, bilingual, <laughs> However it needs to be delivered, Lord, that you will minister to the very depths of hearts. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray amen and amen. God bless you, church. We love you with a passion there. You know, I know we've been doing different things here, and I just want to thank you for being patient with us. I want you to be an evangelist. Yo siempre digo, seas un evangelista. ¿Y cómo vas a ser un evangelista? Compartiendo la palabra de Dios con tus seres queridos, con tu familia también, para que ellos también puedan estar escuchando palabra de Dios. Don't forget, hey, we are still coming live here. Thursday, fire in the house. Come on now. Como Dios desea, va a ser en español. Amen. It will be in Spanish. Amen. So invite, invite. When you come in on in, I want you to invite someone, post it, share it. Amen. As we come on in. I want to thank all of my speaker fam. Amen. Our global worldwide radio reaching and touching the nations. I pray that you bless and be highly favored in all these ways. Amen. And the saints of God say amen and amen. God bless you, church. And until next time, we will see you so very soon. God bless you, church. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Bendiciones.
bendiciones a todos los que se conectaron por ahí, bendiciones a la hermana Julieta, hermana, bendiciones, Dios te bendiga, hermana, mija, hasta Piedras Negras, Silvia, Dios te bendiga, mija, Joana, Dallas, Texas, Dios te bendiga, mija, hermano Cornelio, Dios te bendiga, hermano, bendiciones, ahí estamos, bendiciones, bendiciones, bendiciones y bendiciones a todos los que lo van a ver después, amén. A los que comparten comentarios por medio de Messenger y de WhatsApp, yo me lo tengo bien. Bendiciones hasta el que estaremos una vez más transmitiendo por ahí desde aquí, desde la iglesia, Casa de Misericordia. Aleluya, bendiciones. Dios Amén. Bien. Se corta. En el teléfono, ¿sabes por qué yo te había dejado el teléfono ese también? ¿Cuál teléfono? Este, porque nunca, nunca ha querido abrir el wifi este. ¿Y no se agarró el wifi? No, nunca por eso yo también. Se encuentra en la nueva normal, siempre lo diré con nosotros. ¿Cómo que nunca ha agarrado el wifi? Nunca quería agarrar la señal, siempre decía así. ¿Cómo? En este momento no tienes conexión. Siempre decía así. ¿Pues no, no dijiste? No, nunca había nada. Pues debías dicho que no trabaja el wifi, Vanessa. ¿Cómo puedes tener un phone que no trabaja el wifi? Era siempre así, no, porque trabajaba con los demás. Sí, pero yo lo, luego lo, lo, yo los podría decir, ¿sabes qué? No jala este no, phone. Me acordaba, me dijiste que quería cambiar la memoria para el otro. Y dije, ¡ay! Entonces, ¿sabes qué? Si quieres, ¿sabes qué? Si quieres, bien, y si no, pues esta cosa va a pasar. Pues yo digo que eso corresponde a nosotros, porque eso... Por eso se están pidiendo informaciones. Pero yo digo, yo no sé por qué no se, no se está grabando tu tablet. No, 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 la no, 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 no,